Hello and welcome to a very late YouTube video. Um, um, I'm saying that because the last if this video has been recorded on the 18th of March, which which is this, by by total coincidence the same day all towers are open. So uh, that's nice for you. Oh, I forgot to put the uh, arms on this up. Uh, anyway, so. When was the last one posted? I've forgotten, but luckily, YouTube Studio exists, so I'm able to go back down here and check. Um, here we go, YouTube channel. Um, AI9, I was posted nine, I was posted ten days ago, but if we go to YouTube Studio, it says the date when it, when it was uploaded, so I'm able to go back here and, sing, and see. 7th of March, by, my god, it's late. Uh, so proof there that uh, daily uploads will not always be a thing on this channel, so ignore my million um, claims that it is, because it, it, will, it won't be, trust me, because this. So very late, but I have been very busy, and I mean, to be completely honest, I really couldn't find the motivation just to get off my bum and start filming a video because, you know, headphones and stuff, because my headphones are kind of broken, so tapes are required, so it's, it's like a bit... Um, thing I have to choose, you know, I do really do not want to be using it too often, um, but anyway, uh, enough of that, um, we're going to carry on picking up with Power Rangers Scullions, again, like I said, these names are just from the top of my head, which I don't really understand, <laughs> this could be weird, very weird actually, considering Names like Power Rangers Sponsor Force are coming up, so uh, I would like to stop uh, doing my own stuff and go on to the official names soon, but that can't happen because I've, I've just run out of official names. Um, um, I did check, and yes, the, the mic's mute button does work, as proven just then. Um, so, at least that works, so, well done me, um, well, I'm having to wait for a response now, oh, here we are, the power and just, okay, okay, wait a second, uh, I had a tinker around with the settings on this thing before, I haven't, I forgot if it's in its entire state or, Everything else states. So I've got to. I've got to check that before I read the response out. Oh, I should have thought this one through to be completely, perfectly frank. Right. Oh my God. Right. Can we please remove this from the list? Hmm. Okay. This will give us something to do while we wait. Okay. No. Oh. oh, it's still going. Oh God. I can't wait to see any weird responses. Right, okay, come on. Here we go. Oh no, you know what? That doesn't matter. Let's just go with the previous response because I'm not waiting. I'm not, I don't have all the time in the world. It says, The Power Rangers Scullions are the literal embodiment of sheer chaos and destruction. Okay. They are quite literally the opposite of everything good and sacred. They could quite literally destroy reality itself, the, the pure lust for mayhem and pain. They would never stop until nothing existed for ever again for all of time. They are quite literally the the pure evil incarnate. You know what? This just this just reminds me of. I'm gonna be totally honest here. Um, this reminds me of. Oh, oh no, that's the um flipping egg. Superzings.com.es, not superzings.es. Superzings right there. It just reminds me of um. Hello. I'll put in the right address. It's not doing anything. Ugh, you know what? Screw it. It's just reminded me of it and um, on chaos for some unknown reason. It's so weird. Anyway. Anyway. You what, mate? Uh. Okay. Next up, Power Rangers phases. I don't know. Um, tell us an earlier comment. Yes, I cannot remember where I got these names from. 
just from the top of my head, I think something that I just think is something I thought that this would like to see. Anyway, it says the Power Rangers phases are quite literally the final form of the most advanced alien weaponry. They are quite literally, so a little bit so advanced that any mortal who looked directly at them would immediately go insane just from looking at their sheer power. <laughs> they are capable of quite literally ripping apart the, fab the very fabric of reality. They can quite literally delete the past, change the future, and alter the present. This is mental. It cannot decide on a thing. No, bye. Next up is Power Rangers Heaven Aura, and this is just basically a Sage and Ripoff. Power Rangers. Here we go. This is. This, this is. This has gone on for way too long, like for Siri. Oh no, no, no. Siri's mind. How long has this been going on for? Five minutes. I'm gonna let it to. I'm not gonna let it go to 40 minutes tops, since that's what AI got to, and this could quite easily process an audio clip very well. Anyway, next up, it says the Power Rangers have an aura, or quite literally, the little opposite of the phases. Okay, uh, they are quite literally the form of the most pure angelic angel. Ugh, doesn't matter. You know what? Let's just get a new response. It's just taken. Reasoning from the previous response and stuck it right there. So I'm, bit, I'm going to be a bit stricter on this video. I'm not going to go with an, another one. Also, in other news, um, Alton Towers have put up some uh, curse at Alton Manor bus stop uh, ads. I saw I was seeing things the first time I saw them, but the second time I saw them, which ha which happened to be yesterday, um, I was like, oh, okay. So, so, so the audio is. I put a Reddit post, and it turns out they're everywhere except for where I live. <laughs> So, um, let's just look, I suppose. Um, yeah. Right. What's this response with? Right. Uh, it says, The Power Rangers having aura could literally destroy every evil being or entity in reality. They have the power to quite literally stop all evil beings. They could for quite literally, in literally all eternity, make it so no evil being or entity ever existed. This would automatically make this team of literal gods the most powerful force ever conceived, and quite literally above any conception of good and evil in time itself. It's basically just anti... I am the villain of the villains, basically. Thanks, Edward. In joke, comment if you don't get it. Um, okay, Chronoverse is the next one. Power Rangers, Chronoverse. Come on, can we please get a... Can, can we please get a... Um, can we please get, like, a... Sarcastic one soon because I need something to laugh at. Oh, oh, here we go. Oh, got one, got one. The next one is a sarcastic one. Right, it says the Power Rangers Chronoverse, quite literally the complete history of every possible reality that have ever have existed. Yeah. Not only can they control the entire timeline of every parallel world ever dreamed of, but they could, but they can quite literally take away the very concept of time itself. They could create any form of time warp they imagine and could do nothing else. Than bring out, then bring about the end of existence itself. They could even quite literally stop time itself, causing all life, death, everything to, to everything to literally stop existing. So you might regret saying control the time of every power that exists, dreamed of, because well, why do you think you bloker? Right. Next up is a sarcastic one. Power Rangers offended force. Now, judging by at the cause High Steel Rangers, because I, I think he's the random name generator. All the na uh, High Steel is not my own name; it's a ran ran randomly generated one. Anyway, um, forgot which website though. Uh, to be completely honest, I think it was FantasyNameGenerators.com, but I think I'm not sure. Anyway, um, the joke here is that when Power Rangers Ninja Steel came out, I was like, okay. When, when I first watched, it, I was like, okay, fair enough. But when I watched the Ninja, when I caught how uh, you know rushed Ninja Steel was, and how and how and how better the Ninja was for me at least, I thought, yeah, I'm mutton, yeah, that's this. This is just basically just me in a nutshell. Right, it says the Power Rangers offended for quite literally the embodiment of ultimate righteous and justifiable offensiveness. You what? Does the sheer sight of this team could cause anyone to stop and realise their own faults and shortcomings? They would have such a righteous influence at the treatment. No, this is broken. 
Can, can we please get one that's a bit funny, please? Oh, this is a. This is a. This is a. No. This. This, this is what. It, this is known as deconstructing your own formula. I should have done it because of this. I should have done the video way earlier, but I didn't choose to. Oh, this is. This is. This is. This. This is chaotic. Hmm. Right. Can we please get a new response soon? Um. Okay, here we go. The, par the Power Rangers offending for offended force. Oh, oh, that's much better. There, that is much. This one's much better. It says the Power Rangers offended force are quite literally the entire embodiment of social media. Gah. Okay, this could actually be offensive. It says literally anyone who has ever gotten offended at anything, and anyone who has ever been offended has has been brought together into an ultimate force of pure rage, anger. And this is this this is this was supposed to be like a joke, but this is just turning out to be real. You know what? Let's just skip through this one. Uh, multiverse offended, uh, offended, uh, quite literally, and uh, end all creation as an act of protest. That doesn't mean anything. Yeah, yeah, screw, screw that one. Power Rangers Himitsu Jersey. It's not going to know what Himitsu Jersey mean, because Himitsu equals secret. Um, this is supposed to be a direct reference to Go Ranger, except I think I might have, I think I might have offended it by saying that, but alright. Right, it's not going to know what this is. Right, it says the Power Rangers Himitsu Jutsu are quite literally the embodiment of every child's best imaginary friend. You what, mate? <laughs> <coughs> Their very concept could bring, lit could literally bring about such intense joy that literally all of creation will be brought to heal. Excuse what? They are literally the manifestation of every child's deepest desire, desires and dreams in, in the purest form. They could, they could quite literally create perfect or what would their power would, where they would quite literally control everything. Is it me or is this bot being more weird than usual? Like, where do you get that from? Him, it's okay, okay. I'm not. I'm, no more reasoning. No more reasoning, guys. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. How long has this been on, going on for so far? Oh, only 13 minutes, I've still got a load of good stuff to go through. Okay. The next one's like a joke name, Power Rangers Predictables. Ugh. Right, here we go. This, this one has got to be at least a bit funny. Right, come on guys. It says the Power Rangers Predictables are quite literally all the literal embodiment of all that is known. These amazing rangers are quite literally the very concept of the future. They are quite literally more powerful than a god. This is quite literally the most power, power imaginable. They could stop time, make the past, light the future, or whatever else they so desire. Nothing else would, nothing would be, you'd never be surprised for these amazing superheroes. You know what? If you've ever watched um, horrible histories, and that's the thing I was supposed to be doing for Daily Motion, they could have like a best of clip competition thing. Um, you know that there was a series of sketches called uh, Scary Stories. It was supposed to be like a uh, parody of a Tales from the Crypt, I think. Um, except the bloke who reads the stories, right, um, he just finds out that the stories aren't scary and then leaves every time, every sketch. That's how it all ends. That's the joke. I feel like how he feels reading out these responses. Um, and, and now it's something like a um, TV talent show judge, like Simon cow but it's true like again this is so predictable right oh my right i'm tempted to put something in here that it will know just to get just to get a response that i will that i will find funny i'm not gonna read this next bit out but i'm still i'm just gonna attempt it
yeah, this is part two, because I had to do like a mute jump cut, which is a bit weird. It doesn't really happen often, except this is the second time I've used the, the mute button. Anyway, where are we on the um, weird name o meter? Power Rangers Hasbro Force. Great. This is going to be a repeated name, a repeat, repeated thing, because we've been, we've done over this, we've, we've been over this before, so uh, do not be surprised if this is, if this is another skip. Um, but anyway, uh, oh good grief, next one's sponsor was. Anyway, it says, the Power Rangers Hasbro Force are quite literally the very force behind every single Hasbro toy ever conceived. Told you. In their absolute and total control and ownership of every game and toy, they could literally change the rules of, a, of, a, of any game to suit their absolute whim. whims. <laughs> they could quite literally control every single imagination and memory ever conceived. They could quite literally change reality itself to follow the ultimate rule of all. Oh, the rule of five. Hasbro, the people who take charge of the show, the people who take charge of the toy line. And they mess it up. The striker morph doesn't even have a phone mode. The um, the um, the the chroma view receiver flipping reads the colours, not the keys. And I could go on forever. I mean, in fact, the four pound version of the striker morph that came in the magazine, um, although mirrored, mirrored, it still it turns into it does everything that the expense that the expensey Wednesday twenty pound version doesn't. Do that's how badly they messed it up. In fact, I can, I can, um, I can um, also agree uh, with Power Ranger Tube, who's another British bloke, um, on this statement because that's exactly what he said in his Beast Morphers video that the uh, Striker Morpher was better in the magazine. He he, he didn't pick it up because um, it was like a mirror image, but. Um, point is, if you if you mag if your cheapy version's better than the expensive Wednesday version, you. You went and messed it up, mate. Right, next up is Power Rangers Sponsor Force. Sponsor Force. Sponsor the kite. Right, will it understand? Because I think I brought Sponsor up in another bit of the conversation uh, away from the video. Is it going to know what it means? Right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, a funny one. Right, it says the Power Rangers sponsor was quite literally the living, the living embodiment of pure power, money, and corruption. <laughs> this team has the literal control of, of all the funds ever conceived. With this money, they could, they can literally buy everything and anything they could ever imagine. This is quite literally the ultimate greed and desire of power itself. Hang on, isn't that shouldn't that be the greed from O's or O if you just like one O in your O's? Or tentatively, coming right at just transformed into just one medal. Taka! The end. <laughs> oh. And anti common other people are, are not going to understand that joke. Power Rangers Spirit Squad. I think, oh, this sounds a bit like a Spook Squad, which is that told them. Um, BBC, BBC show from, I think it was the 2000s, 2000s, I think the early 2000s. Anyway, it was like a Ghostbusters rip-off. Anyway, it says the Power Rangers Spirit Squad are quite literally, quite literally the living embodiment of the power of the human psyche. I hope I'm saying that right. Um, I've never seen that word before, I don't think. Hmm. They are quite literally the very constant of the human spirit itself. Not only do they have literal control over humanity itself, but they could literally take over and control every single mind in existence. This is quite literally the ultimate definition of absolute power itself. I've just turned the mic down here. I do hope I'm still being picked up on it. Right, what's next on the list of weirdness? Is it Power Rangers XXX Force? Yes, it is. This one, this one has got to get a funny response now. Power Rangers. Might as well move this thing forward. For, 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 I'm trying to be really overly precise. It's not where it's not really working. Anyway, Baron XX XX that's false. This is the one I wanted to try the most. Here we go. It said. It says. 
Okay, it says the Power Rangers XXX Force are quite literally the literal embodiment of all that is. Oh God. Um. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I'm just going to go on a bit of a rant uh, now. Oh, um, Australian book person. Okay, I'll watch that later. If I remember, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Dynaman Pink Ranger defeated. There's a video here called Dynaman Pink Ranger defeated. Um, it's like a it's like a parody of Dynaman. It's just funny to me. Anyway, um, going off going off the rails slightly. Um, Ignoring what I just said. Um, <laughs> well, where is it? Oh, here. Uh, I found a clip of Dick and Dom from Blue Peter. Why did I open all the playlist? That was a mistake. Um, Dick and Dom, Blue Peter, from a YouTuber person called a YouTuber called Matthew Jones. It's got 32k views and it was uploaded 13 years ago in 2009. And if you have this video, or have you, if you've just looked it up on your computer or tablet or Retina Implant Ludus Reference, sorry, can't let that, can't let that one go. Um, you'll notice that it's not a normal Blue Peter presentation, as you'll see from the thumbnail. If you if you know what I mean, of course. Of course, knowing this, when I found when I found it in my YouTube uh, recommended, I thought, wow, it's Dick and Dom. And I clicked on it, I think, and watched and just laughed my head off. <laughs> we stay absolutely silent. That's all, gonna, that's all I'm going to say about that. I'm not going to say anything else. Um, but also, what do I think of the um, BBC um, rebrand for CBBC and CBBC? Rubbish. Change it back. You're not going to, but it's absolute... It's poor. It says really poor. If you, if you can... If you can Right, if you can hear me, BBC, which you probably can't, change it back. We would all like to see the old um, 2007 logo back, I'm sure, for CBBC. Um, I'm pretty sure the CBBC's logo being changed is heavily screwing up some people's nostalgia. So change it back, or else the ITV will come and get you with their rip-offs. That's not even a joke, by the way. <coughs> Right. <laughs> I just had to do that joke. Right. Um, you might have been able to figure it out already, but I cannot read this um, um, Power Rangers XXX false response out. If you really want to know what it might, if you really want to know what it said, go and look it up for yourself. Um, if um, you do, if you do not have the patience or simply can't be bothered ask in the comments and I'll respond then um, hot foot hot foot the better I laughed hot foot <laughs> oh god um I'm, uh, I've been watching a lot of grizzly tales and I can I can hear Nigel say hot foot in my head as soon as I said it oh this the computer is out of battery push the button there it worked and there's a BBC reference check um, all the amount of BBC references in this video in my entire channel so far, though. Also, I had to check. We've recently hit um, 400 videos. I think this is going to be the 401st video. So, uh, 400 videos. Blimey, O'Reilly, you blokes. Right. I'm, I'm, I'm going to read this out in my head. I'm just going to look at, look at it on this. I am not, repeat, I'm not going to put it in the video. I'm not going to say it. Just going to... Just read it. Um, all I can say though is, um, how do I, how do I um, make a good YouTube demonetization joke? Can I please get one off the internet, please? Demonetization joke. <sighs> can I, can I please get one, please? No, here's one. This is from. All slash prequel memes on Reddit. I'm not going to send a photo, but if you know what, if you, know, if you look, if you put in, um, oh, all slash prequel memes. Uploaded by Stormtrooper Senate. So they're a Star Wars fan, I think. Um, these are the Star Wars prequels. Right, so, 
If you want to know what post this is, just put in YouTube demonetization joke into, YouTube, into Google and you'll see what I mean. Anyway, it says, YouTube 2016, all good, normal ad revenue. YouTube 2017, all videos are demonetized, bad revenue. YouTube 2018, you, you, your videos have become negative, monetized. YouTube's many users have money forcibly taken from them. And YouTube 2019, YouTube will be reorganized into the first galactic empire. Sorry, that was a Star Wars joke. Sorry, can't let one go. I'm gone. Broken English. Sorry, can't let that one go. That's better. Oh my god. I, I, I just... I, I, <laughs> I went to all that effort just to do a 10 second joke. And it's based on the response of an AI robot. Does this channel get any better? No. No, it doesn't. Quite frankly, it's going to get worse. Right. Again, if you if you really want to know what it's just said, the AI robot just punching power and his XXX force into the uh, into the um sing on the robot who would win under better.character.ai. Now I'm really surprised at I'm actually really surprised at this actually considering this is this is <laughs> Okay, right. This is, if you know better dot character dot AI, they are they are really really strict on censoring. Yes, thanks. Strict, strict. <laughs> really strict on uh, censoring and that. So I'm really surprised to see it come out with stuff like this. But I've just pressed on the another response, and it started to sound like a ratings board. This is not a joke. This is not a joke. This is not a joke. Do I have a beat machine? No, I don't. If I had like a beat machine, I'd press it just for a laugh, like how Dick and Dom did that one time. But I don't have like a censoring machine. I don't even don't even know if that's not a real thing. Um, okay, I'm I'm just skipping through these responses now just to laugh at them. Um, yeah, this name. If you couldn't figure it out already, this is now officially out of the. This is no. This is damn no. This is this one. I'm not even. No, no, this one is out for the count. As in, out, as in not being included, and count. Which is, oh, finally! Finally, it's come up with the, um, we can generate a reply. This is all thanks to the censoring, if you, um, in case you don't already know. Hang on, let's press the report button here. I think, if everyone who is, who hates all the censoring, the level, the level of swearing, just press on the report button every time you get that response and see what happens in the next couple of months. I will keep doing that. I'll keep pressing the report button and see what happens. Although I'm pretty sure it monitors the user, so I'm not entirely sure. And this whole rebel against them. Is this is, is this actually going to work? Right. Obviously it doesn't obviously the algorithm doesn't really like this name, but Taff. Again, if you if you would like to see what the efforts of this AI robot as it attempts to struggle against the, the weird restrictions? Just simply just put in Power Rangers XXX Force into the um, type message box under who would win in better.character.ai. So if you would like to do that, please do. I am not telling you what any of this says. It's just tell it just give, giving me a report message again. I'm going to quit with this name. I'm going to carry on. I would also you'd like to know that the original name from Fantasy, Fantasy Name Generators is, of course, Fe Power Rangers Feline Mask. So, um, figure the joke out for yourself there, you blokes. What's next? Power Rangers Electek. Finally, back to the weird cringe names. Power Rangers Electek. Oh, it's not doing it now. Great. I've just put it in a state of right. Can we go back to the? Uh, there we go. There we go. That is better. It's now. Oh, I've just. Oh, I've just. Oh, I've seen through your plan. Oh, I don't know why I said that. It's just replaced the second bit in, of the response text with like a generic one. So that's just the example of just avoiding the question. So, uh, hang on. I've got an account. I have got an account with chat 
the thing owned by Elon Musk, basically. The chapter owned by him. Now, I don't really use this often because, you know, the, the, how the text appears, it's like it flashes, it gives you a headache. I'm actually going to put that exact response, like, the name, into the robot and then report back with what it came out with. So that's, that's going to be like a job for, job for the community posts. I will do that. And I will see what happens. I'm not going to try all the names, obviously, because that, that would take us a million thousand years. I'm just going to try this particular one. I want to test its limits, right? And actually, let, let's let's actually make a let's just make sure that happens. Test power rangers xxx forms in on Elon's shot bot. On Il Tabo. It doesn't work on the computer for some odd reason. So uh, there we go. That's working. Um, can we please get this to work with Electech now? Can we? Oh God! It's just it's just it's loading into oblivion. I'm, 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 it's just it's loading into a forever. Just gonna have to try this again. Actually, here we go. Power Rangers Electech. Also. Also, random bits of funniness now. There is a website. Oh, where is it even? Uh, well, I should know this. Um, right. Michael Foglen. I think I'm saying your name right. Michael Foglen. Foglen is F O G L E N. Michael Foglen. Oh, Michael Fog Foglan, Foglan is Foglan, or is F O G L E M A N. So Michael Foglan, www www Michael Foglan dot com forward slash phrases forward slash. So this generates random two word phrases, and it's a right laugh, as nine nine pointer would say, who doesn't who who is not a real person. In case you couldn't figure out. Anyway, right back to this. Um, Power Rangers Elect Tech. It says the Power Rangers Elect Tech are quite literally the living embodiment of all that is electricity. Broken English. They are quite literally more powerful than all the gods combined. <laughs> <laughs> the comedy's back, folks. It says, and could literally make a new universe itself of pure electricity where the very forces of nature are quite literally have no control you know it's like if like a dendry mine existed in the year 2025 not this not back in the 70s do do oh wait no it was the 80s wasn't it do 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 dendry man dendry man the macasero i think i'm saying that right i've got the lyrics right here so it's pretty hard to visualize what it looks what it looks like anyway next up is uh, also, it's important to note that um, I'm, not, I'm not entirely sure how this whole censoring thing works. I'm not even, not even going to try and figure figure it out. Anyway, Power Rangers Global Shock. That's supposed to be like a reference to World Terror. I don't know why I did that, but I couldn't think of a better name anyway. Power Rangers Global Shock. I've got a thing with testing um, AI robots with on their level of censoring. It's just like a... It's just like a thing that I have to go for myself and see what happens. Anyway, how, how long has this been going on for? 18 minutes. A 18. I did say 18. <laughs> Blimey. It says, the Power Rangers global shock are quite literally the, the literal embodiment of everything in every part of Earth I've ever seen. They're quite literally above everything on Earth and could quite literally bring about the end of everything on Earth. Alright. They are quite literally more powerful than anything ever seen past, the present and future. So, alright. Fair enough. Next up is Power Rangers Infinity. Sounds like a thing they do for Hasbro, which is a bit sad. Um, Infinity. Bye everyone, I'm gonna enter the dragon's light. I'm only joking. Twin sanity and beyond! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I can hear him saying it. <coughs> Twin sanity and beyond. Anyway, this is point with this. The Power Rangers Infinity are quite literally the living embodiment of all that is endless and infinite. They are quite literally more powerful than anything else, than anything ever conceived. They have literal capacity to do anything an infinite number of times. This is quite literally the ultimate amount of, of anything. So, well done for stating the obvious. What's next on the list of pain? 
from torture, it's power this he carries, so it's not going to know what this means. It might do, it's pretty much to know some Japanese, I think, Hikari, so low. Is, it, is that thanks to having to deal with some weebs or something? Huh. I used to be one of them. I regretted it, but, but I was last year. Let's not talk about that ever again. Right, it says the power in just Hikari Solar are quite literally the embodiment and definition of light itself. They uh, quite literally, they are, they are, this is quite literally, oh, 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 oh ignore that. This is quite literally the virtually opposite of darkness itself. Not only can the power in just Hikari Solar bend and shape light and light rays anyway, any way they want, but they can, but they can quite literally control what we perceive of ourselves and the world. What? They are quite literally above all that is light and and all we perceive as reality. So, what does that mean? Who knows? What's next? Parenders Math Force. I'm gonna spell this as math like M A W F because you know the fun is um, no more maths. <laughs> there, that's a funny joke I come up with myself. Power Rangers Math Force. Right, will I understand? Who knows? It's a bit of a weird stuff going on. Oh, right, it says the Power Rangers Math Force are quite literally the living embodiment of all math. Okay, it's, understand. it's understood. These Power Rangers could quite literally control the very laws of reality itself. They could quite literally change any and all math problems to whatever they desire. This is quite literally beyond all the understanding of, of any immortal ever conceived. No, it isn't. Goodbye. Right, next up is, of course... Ugh... Power Rangers Metal League. Oh. Come on, guys. This has got to be a good one now. Give me a funny response. It's not going to give you a funny response. Spoilers. It says the Power Rangers Metal League are quite literally the absolute pinnacle of all things metal. These Power Rangers could quite literally be... Could quite literally any... Could could be quite literally anything they can and that they can desire and imagine and could quite literally control every single metal object in existence and their command. This is quite literally ultimate control over every single metal in all of existence. Okay, fair point, mate. Right, what's next on the list of pain? Power Rangers rated for so the T being you know capital, you know you know for like T rated T except that doesn't exist from where from where I from. Here in the UK we have the Peggy ratings and yeah he does it in that voice. Peggy seven. Peggy 3, Peggy 12, Peggy 16, Peggy 18, and coming this year, Peggy 99. (laughs) (laughs) Oh gosh. Power Rangers rated force. Here we go. How about the respond? Rated T for triple. It says the Power Rangers rated force are quite literally the, the... or quite literally the quite literally embodiment of all rating systems. <laughs> this team is quite literally above any of all other teams. They could quite literally control all rating systems ever sort of. This is quite literally above any and all rate, multiple rating systems in creation. <laughs> Basically, they become a ratings board. <laughs> That's funny. Guys. Oh yes, we have a at the properly rated game here, let's call Harry just rated force to come and sort it out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Power Rangers Infectors is next. Power Rangers. Just to give you a bit of a um, time gap in, in, in between. I think this was written a good couple of months ago. It might, might have even been in January, or well, last year even. Um, so, blimey. Anyway, it says the Power Rangers Infectors are quite literally the living embodiment of all things infectious. The very concept could quite, could literally destroy any and all reality itself. Broken English. Um, this is quite literally above anything that could ever be known as a living being in all of creation. Basically, in this in, in today, everything is above everything. Basically, so are we not supposed to press the mouse touchpad? Oh, there we are. All right, here we go. What's next? On the list of nuts. Power Rangers sense. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, I don't see the ones that are coming up because I've A, I've forgotten, and B, I just do a box based on the names, so I, they just come up on the list. So, all these reaction. Power Rangers Sensor Crew. This may have to be removed from the video too, but I'm, I'm just going to type it in just to be sure. Power Rangers Sensor Crew. Hang on, what, what's the original name for this? Grimhart? Okay. I'm not going to read this out straight away in case, you know, 
monetization. But I'm just going to let it go and then make up my mind. If it's not, I'm just going to tell you to do it instead. Um. Um. Okay. 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 This, this, okay. This is safe. Okay, we can do it. We can do it. Okay. It says the Power Rangers sensor crew are quite literally the def the the the, the literal definition of absolute control. They are quite literally above anything that could ever be considered free will. They could literally control all the freedom of mind and free will ever conceived. This is this is quite this is quite literally any, anything they so desire. It's now putting quotation marks. I don't know why. Also, is this taking jabs at the better dot is this taking jabs at the character.ia's IR sensor system? I think it might be. From the fact guys, don't mess up the blokes who make stuff on this website. Blimey alright are you Mario fans. Look, here's Mario. Now he's here's Mario now. Spoilers, he's plastic. Right, who's next on the list of pain and weirdness? Here we go, what's next? Power Rangers Merchandise Force. Oh, get to the end? Oh! Second to last one. Okay. Power Rangers Merchandise Force of. With Merchandise being spelled with a Z. Because it's cool and that. Extreme cool letters! Have I done that joke before? I think I might have done. Right, it says the Power Rangers Merchandise Force are quite literally the living embodiment of capitalism. They are they are quite literally the very embodiment of everything that any economy on this at this point has ever conceived. Not only could they quite literally control all products and services, this is quite literally anything they so desire. I think it's just basic it's giving basic it's giving me a broken English at this point. It's now putting exclamation points before finishing a sentence. Great. We just wanted to take it to English class. Ugh, right. Ugh. And next up is we have two more. Otaku Ranger. Otaku Ranger. It's not gonna know what this means. Otaku means nerd, by the way, as you'll soon see. From the translated division, which is nerd ranger, which is the last one. Um it says the Otaku Ranger are quite literally the literal embodiment of anything that is Japanese. Mm -hmm. I didn't expect you to get that. Okay, it says they they are quite they are literally above anything ever conceived by a Japanese mind. They quite literally control the very sorts and origins of Japan itself. This is quite literally any power ever conceived. You might want to watch that though, because if you know what they're like over in Japan, or if you've watched the Keep Ranger at least, you will you will know why that is a problem. In fact, let's not. Uh, I was going to say let's open Ami Ami dot com and look at the picture scroll and all just to prove the point, but um. I was going to say let's not on the account of you can't see, but also let's not because notice the system maintenance. Thank you for using Ami Ami. Currently our website is down for maintenance and will not be possible to access our website until the scheduled end time. But no. March 19th. Oh, that's tomorrow. Okay. 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 <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. That that audio joke has been thrown out the window. Next up is the last one on this list is Nerd Ranger. Here we go. Please let this be. Please please let this be a good one to end off on. Okay. It says the Nerd Ranger are quite literally the literal personification of everything nerdy in existence. They are quite. They are quite literally the literal essence of our definition of nerd. Nerd. <laughs> Specky nerd. <laughs> that was from this PlayStation's magazines video, wasn't it? Good old sponsor. Um, they quite literally changed. It says they they quite literally changed the idea of what is nerdy, nerd or nerdy. What? This is quite literally anything that I've ever conceived. It's now ending all the sentences with quite literally anything ever conceived. It's like um. How the Baku and the uh, sentences with Tara? Did you like this? Tara? It's very good, Tara! I can't wait to end this with you, Tara! It's getting quite late now, Tara! Not really, Tara! It's only 8 o'clock, Tara! <laughs> Tara! <laughs> okay.
<laughs> okay. All this, all this is improv, by the way. I'm not. There's no script here. This is all in the script. It's brilliant. Um, right. So. Um, also, if you're going to change everything that is nerdy, why don't you actually? I'm not. I was going to say. Uh, why don't you affect that bloke from Strange Hill High, that old BBC, BBC show? Until I realised, he is voiced by the same geezer who voices the. No, no spoilers for this bit, but uh, he does a voice in one in one of those DreamWorks films. I'm not, not going to tell you which one exactly, since I need to get you to use your brain, since my stuff can be considered edu educational content. Thanks, Dreamy Ricks. I'm only joking. Um, I'm actually not going to give you what film it is, just because, well, censoring crew. Should I do a bit where I actually get my tablet and punch that in? Hmm. My tablet has got some joy on it. I, I could do that. Uh, right, let's let's start. Operation Improvised Tablet Censoring Thing. Anyway, <laughs> right. The first step is to close out that lot and then remove the last items from this list. There we go. There we go. Everything is going. Nice sensor. Okay. Oh, I, I video. We've only got a few more names to go for. We might be able to get this done in two videos. Oh, or we might be able to get this done in two videos. Hmm, who knows? Right. So what's going to happen now is I'm going to I'm going to press on the mute button so I can unplug my headphones and go upstairs and get my tablet. And then I'm going to find Chat GPI. Hang on. Is it working on this? I bet it's not. Let's put in the actual. There, it says, it says access denied, which is a bit weird, because, you know, it doesn't matter. Right, it works on my tablet now, and that's the main thing. Right, here we go. Right, so, I've got my tablet now. It's here, even though you can't see it, but here's some proof. Some tablet ASMR. Right, enough of that. Right. Uh, let's go to the, uh, good old... <laughs> Web browser. You've seen this before in a, um, a few apps videos of mine. Uh, don't even know if that's it's gonna is ever gonna come back on that on account of you know filling up this tablet with unnecessary stuff I don't really need. Right, web browser. Is the volume all the way down? No, it isn't. It's up to max volume. Great, mate. Right, chat GP. Chat GPT. Oh, it's chat GPT. Oh, guys, please don't fail. Please stand by while we're checking your browser. This is probably something that's not working. Oh, here it is! Ooh! Okay, here we go. Right. New chat on the button. Okay, let's go to the text box and put in parameters. This is just a test to laugh at the funny censoring bits. Oh, there we go. Hang on, that, that was my... Oh, no. Okay, there we go. There we go. So the censoring on this is pretty high as well. So it's interesting to note that the online one, that did give a response, but on this one... It didn't. Hmm, interesting. So that was very quick. Although what I can, what what, what we can uh, take away from the uh, this experience though, is that AI is a thing. It might, it might happen. It it, it will happen. Eventually, the, eventually, there's going to be there's probably going to be like a million chatbots, just as I've got a million shoes. I'm not going to do the flipping joke. Feel like a milli. Feel like a milli. I want a milli. I have a million shoes. Right. So, I'm just going to say that um, anyone, eventually in the future, possibly anyone could make an AI chatbot easily. Um, who knows what this could lead to? Wink, wink, nod, nod. Um, <laughs> I'm not going to give you any explanations on what um, that um, joke was about, but you listen, chaos, 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 keep on, you listen on.
feel like a milli, feel like a milli, I want a milli, I have a million shoes. Feeling like a million pound, and I'm out here with my pals. I've got a million subs, so I've got a million pound. Feel like a milli, feel like a milli, I want a milli, I have a million shoes. The end. <laughs> I have to listen to all that. How long is this? 36 minutes. Okay, normal. Okay, that's normal. Bye.